everybody, Ann here, and I just got up. I'm having my coffee, trying to plan my day. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do sauerkraut today or not because we still got a few days where it's going to be kind of cold, but I don't know. I, I think it'll be okay, but the fermentation will just go slow. I know I'm going to pickle some eggs, but you guys have already seen me do that. And all of those eggs that I ate from the last time, I mean all of them that I made, they're gone. Betty and I just loved them. And one more project I want to do is try and find a way to make a water catchment system out of a tarp. So, hmm, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this. I think I need, I need more coffee in me before I make any decisions today. Okay, I've made my decision. It's going to rain again probably tomorrow and for the next few days. I don't know. So I figure I'm going to go ahead and see if I can fashion a very simple, basic, water catchment system using a tarp and a bucket and, I don't know, maybe some sticks and some bungee cords? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to see if I can do it. Yes! And yes, I brush my hair, and no, I don't have good hair. It always looks messy. First, let's start with the supplies. I've got the bucket, I've got a staple gun, I have bungee cords, I have tie-down stakes, a screen, and an axe. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with that axe, but I found it out in the woods back in Ohio, and I'm bound and determined to use it for something. And then, of course, I've got the tarp that's laying down out by the shed. So let's gather this all up and see if I can figure it out. I figure this is as good a place as any. It's away from a lot of the trees, although there's trees everywhere on my property. But this shed has a downward sloping, you know, roof. Um... That's a metal roof. I don't know what that metal's made out of, though, so I don't know. may not be safe, but um, this is just a test. Uh, it's all stuff that I already have, and that tarp is just a little bit dirty. That's okay. I can clean it off if it works, and or maybe even just get a fresh, clean one. And um, this has areas where I can connect it to, some wood and whatnot. So I figure, you know what, let's just give this a shot and see if I can get it to work. Step one accomplished. I have attached it to the shed. Over here I just put a bungee in it and had it stretch over there. Just put a few staples in. They'll be easy to get out if I want to. And just attach the other end with a zip tie to this little flag holder thing. So now I have to figure out how to get it to go down this way so that I can collect some rain water in it. I need some stakes. Um, I think that they're, yep. I might be able to use this. <laughs> um, gosh, I might be able to use some, some sticks, but I don't know. They're all so wet. I don't think that they would hold up very well. Ha, ha, ha. I need something that I can cram into the ground. Hmm, these look like they're too long. <sighs> what to do, what to do? Um, so, I don't know. It seems like it should be up higher, maybe? I mean, it's going down towards this. I'm just holding on to it right now. I need to figure out a stake or some way to keep this up. I don't know if this would work like this, but the idea is the rain that comes off of that roof would go onto this tarp and then down into the bucket, but the problem that I see is that if the wind comes up, that bottom part might flap all over the place. So, huh, I don't know. Well, I did find a use for this ax. Basically, I just used it to pound this stake down into the ground and I got it I got it pretty well in there but I still think that it needs to be staked down better somehow or the other and then I have to figure out how to actually connect this to this because a good wind comes up it's gonna I mean it could just go off the top so let me think oh there's little holes. Hmm. Little holes. I wonder if I could use... Is there another one over here? No, just over there. I wonder if I could use a zip tie. 
to do something with that. One zip tie, it was actually pretty hard to pull through that little hole. It was a little bit bigger, but I think that'll do um, for now, hopefully. Okay, now to secure this better so it doesn't just pull right out of the ground with a big gust of wind. I mean, I got it pounded down in there pretty well, but I still think we need a little something. I got that one all the way in the ground. Now I think I need another one to go that way. Okay, I got the other one in. I kind of wish there were holes on this other side. I mean, I could always drill a hole in it, but I just attached it through this one same thing, and it is pretty sturdy. These are pretty tight. The ground is soft, so I mean, if there's a big, huge wind, I don't know, maybe it can pull it up. So, this is what it looks like so far. I still don't know if this is gonna be right. Um, I just don't know. I don't know. And now I need to figure out a way to make it so that this tarp doesn't fly around when it gets windy. And then put a screen over the top of that, maybe? I don't know. Alrighty, let me figure this out. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is the jankiest thing I've ever seen. Okay, the problem that I'm having here is these grommets are in different positions. So I got a longer bungee cord for this one and a shorter one for this one. Staked them down and the ground is still really soft. So I had to try to try and find a spot that was relatively, you know, firm. But it's got it to where I mean still it could still blow around, I think. But this is better than just leaving it loose. See, now if this grommet was down here, that would be that would be sturdier because I think where it's gonna fail is this is gonna come up, whereas this is not so much. So I don't know. I mean I, I hate to cut into that tarp because that's just gonna, you know, that's gonna be a weak point. But I don't know. What do you think? Comes off the roof, the rain comes off the roof. Instead of going to the ground, it's diverted to this and then goes right into there. For some reason, I feel like the tarp should be higher or something. I don't know, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna try this this way and see how it works. And now I've got to put the screen over the top of this bucket. Not that I think it's gonna make all that much difference because this is not exactly the cleanest tarp, but I can always clean it off if I collect water from here. And, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Huh. Just found some cordage. I wonder if this would work to tie around the bucket. Let me, let me cut off a piece. Okay. I have it dipping down a little bit, so it, if it's too tight, it won't just, the water bounce off and go somewhere else. And I just tied it with one square knot in the little ridge. So, I think that's going to stay pretty well. I can cut off that excess if I want to. Um, so I think this will work. Yeah? Yeah, I think that'll work. And my last little fine detail, finishing touch, two cinder blocks to hold the bucket in place. I could actually use four, but with it like this, it's, it's not going anywhere. So, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens to this once the wind starts blowing. Huh. I don't know. I mean, if it can stay relatively just like this, then the water's going to go down into the bucket. So I think really the only way to see if this is going to work is just for it to rain and to see if I get any, you know, any water in there. And if it's windy and rainy, I'm just going to have to come out here in the rain and see what happens. But that's it. That's my little water catchment system. I don't know if it's going to work. We shall see. Well, there it is. And that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.